Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be doing a part two to the video that I started yesterday called Jailbreak Confessions. And boy, did it touch a few nerves and open up a can of worms to say the least. I wouldn't say a can of worms, but started a very good discussion in the comment section. And I just wanted to add a few things to what I said yesterday. Um... I made the comment I hadn't pirated an app in like three or four years or whatever. What I meant when I said that is that I hadn't used an app without buying it, okay? I know if you've watched my videos for any length of time, you've probably seen one of the pirated repos on my device. And it's, and it's there primarily because sometimes I will check, a, check an actual tweak before I buy it to make sure that it's something I would want to cover for the channel. You know, that's to say that if the uh, developer hasn't already offered a, a copy to me, you know, I have to buy these out of pocket for you guys. So if I use that, then I, I go back and buy it. If it's no good, I go on to the next one. You know, you might say, well, that's pirating. Well, I don't think, so. I don't agree with that because Personally, I think the developers should have a light version of all their apps and the tweaks. So I said that backwards. Uh, it should be that way in the App Store as well as the Insidia as well. That way, you know, you could just you could determine what you wanted before you actually bought it. That's the only way I use it. And you'll also see in my videos if you watch that after you purchase a tweak in there you get that little green stripe across the uh, description page you'll notice those are on all my videos as well you know sometimes you may not see it it's just because it's been edited out but if I made a video on a tweak I did buy it I won't I won't use a tweak from a developer without that without me purchasing it or without the developer giving it to me to review so hope that cleared up some of the air from yesterday but just to open up another can, we still have some, some people, guys, in the comments that don't understand what jailbreaking is. And I, I'm going to say that. I'm going to read you comments that I received, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, I'm going to show them on the screen, but I'm not going to show the person's name just because I don't want everybody to be bashing on that person. One comment was made that says, it's called quote, jailbreak, why the F we need to buy the tweaks. Here we go again, guys, with that stigma attached to jailbreak and that people automatically assume the only reason you jailbreak is to get free apps and free tweaks. That is the most misleading thing about jailbreaking, guys. And one of the biggest concerns that I have, you know, I think that's why jailbreaking has such a bad name is because of that stigma right there. And also another one, another one was made and, and stated that the pirate life is the life for me. You know, he made that comment after watching that video. So apparently some of them didn't get catch what it was we was talking about. But for the most part, I'm going to say 85% of the comments, you all agreed with everything I said. And some of you even talked about removing some of the repos to try to see if your phone didn't work better. And I guarantee you, if you will run it for a week without any pirated tweaks, you're going to see a huge difference in lag, resprings, that kind of thing. Okay. So if you guys want to give me a video response to this video, Put it in the comments. I'll, I'll, I'll make it live for you so everybody can see it. Don't forget, guys, if you're not a subscriber here, thumbs up. It really helps us a great deal. If you want more of these one-on-one -on -one videos, let me know in the comments. And please keep coming back.